Here's the video on the Mavic 4 Pro and waypoints. First waypoint mission is in the field. We're going to do it on location. So here we go. I'm going to hit the left button over there, and that turns an orange color. And now we're in waypoint mode. And I'm going to press the C1 button behind on the back of the controller, which puts down the first waypoint. So I've located the first waypoint. I'm now going to fly to the second point and put the next one down. Now fly into the third location, going up slightly, rising. I'm going to put the third waypoint down by hitting the C1 button on the back of the controller. I'm now going to go up, turn to the right and fly forward and put the fourth waypoint down. So now I've created a waypoint mission which is going to last 14 seconds and it's going to travel a distance of 39 meters via four waypoints. And the global speed is 2.5 meters per second. Now let's have a look at the camera action on the first waypoint. And the camera action I want to select is to start recording, which is what I've just pressed. I'm now going to click through to waypoint. I'm trying to get to waypoint four. And on waypoint four, I want to stop recording. So I'm going to press stop recording. I'm now going to go back. And we can see the four waypoint mission ready to go. And you can see it in the left hand side with the four different locations. I'm now going to fly back to somewhere near the start of where it started. And now I'm going to press next. I'm now going to press go, which is the start button. I press go. And now the drone goes to the first point of the waypoint. It'll turn to the left now once it gets the right height. And it's on the first one. And now it'll start to go forward. So now we're recording. You can see the box top left. That's the recording of the waypoints. So we've gone past the second waypoint. We're rising now, getting up to the third waypoint. You can see it on the bottom. Now we've done the third point. It's now turning to the right and flying over the hedge. And we've hit the fourth waypoint. Now I've got return to home enabled after the end of the waypoint mission so I'm going to hit the pause button and the kill button and stop that okay uh, you can see there how why the end of flight was going to return to home because that's what I got selected I'm going to lower the drone down manually and then I'm going to hit the left button to switch the waypoints off and when I do that it asks me to save and exit which I'll do and then I'm out of it next exercise is planning waypoints on Google Maps here I'm in the Google map view. You can see down below on the left hand side is the major view which is in the office. And we're looking at the field near Saunton. Uh, the first waypoint has been down. I've put the second one down now. And I'm going to move the first one because when it, I actually zoomed in on it, I was in the wrong place. So I wanted to be at the top of the field. So I've moved the first waypoint to north of the second waypoint. And that's established now. I'm now going to look at the details on that waypoint one. I'm going to pull the altitude down to 25 rather than 50. I'm going to also press start record at the beginning. And I'm going to look at the global speed and I want to leave it at 2.5 meters a second. I'm going to go to waypoint two. We've moved on. And then we'll go and put another waypoint down. So I've clicked on the third one there. The location for it. Move it around so it's closer to waypoint two. I'm going to change the height, the altitude, down to 26, 25, 26 meters. There's 26. And I've clicked on waypoint 2 now and dropped that to 26 meters as well. Now there is a shortcut. I can apply it to all. So I hit the apply to all button 
and that puts it across all of the different settings. The next action is looking at waypoint 2. We don't want any form of camera action on waypoint 2. So I'm going to hit the button for waypoint 2 and I'm going to press none, N-O-N-E, none. Make sure that's on waypoint 2. Then we're going to go to waypoint 3 and the camera action on waypoint 3 we want is stop recording. So I'm going to hit the stop recording button for waypoint 3. Then hit the back button to get to the starter menu. Now we're in the starter menu. We're going to press the left hand button there and we can see that the mission is here. And I'm going to save the current waypoint flight and it's asking me to sync it with the cloud. Now this has only just come out so I can enable this and I can have it auto synced to the cloud. It was the latest release with the Fly app and the Mavic 4 Pro. So now we've actually got two menus and I'm going to delete the first one so I've just gone back and deleted that. The second menu is the same so I'm going to name it SAU and save it as SAU. SAU25, so let's hit done. And you'll see that this is successfully synced with the cloud. So let's, let's start the mission now. And let's click on the waypoint mission on the left. That'll bring up the different waypoint missions. I'm gonna hit the other button there and you can see there's SAU2025 there. We've hit that and here is the waypoint mission live. So it's come straight onto our controller I can double check the different bits and pieces but I'm going to go hit next and I'm going to hit go and I'm going to run this mission now. So this is the mission we did planning back in the office and it's a three point mission or three node mission and off it goes. So it's flying up to the height of 25 meters or 26 meters which we set. It's now turning towards the direction where the first node was aiming getting itself ready and away it goes so you can see I'm now recording on the left hand side it's automatically started recording at the first waypoint it's flying forward it's 34 35 36 37 moving along the maximum distance is 76 meters for the mission over three nodes we're now at 59, 60, carry on, 67, 68, and it's flying through the mission, recording at the same time and coming up to the last waypoint. And I left it returned to home, which is what it's done or starting to do. You can see me down on the left hand side, but I'm going to hit the abort button on this and stop the return to home so it doesn't complete all the way. Hope that's been helpful. Happy flying. Bye for now. If you enjoyed this video, then subscribe to the channel or watch the next video in the playlist or the new videos that we've just recently downloaded.